Life is what happens when you are busy making plans. We all want to be successful people, but we always come across a lot of barriers on our way to success. And unfortunately, some of them put an end to our dreams. Today, we bring you a story of a man who always ends up losing a person he loves every time he gets sick. He is called Augustine. He says that the disease affected his legs when he was 13 years old. Gatangiye kuza ikirenge kirabyimba. Nuno hazaka sununu. It started like a small inching wound on his leg, which he thought it was normal and it was no big deal. But he was very wrong because instead of healing, it grew bigger and bigger and then it turned into a very big and painful swelling. He went to the hospital and they told him that the only way to save his life was to cut off his leg which was also something not easy for him to understand because he was still a young boy. It was in 1960 and he was 13 years old. By then, he was a student and thinking that he would go to school without his left leg and yet he was normal. That also bothered his understanding but later, his mother decided to do what the doctors had suggested and he had nothing to do about it. He says that the doctors also never managed to explain what had happened to him or what had even caused the disease and all they told him was that the infection kept on growing bigger day by day and it would affect his entire body and that's why they had to cut off his leg. After he lost his leg, life started becoming very complicated because school was far away from home and it became so difficult for him to go to school on a daily basis. However, his fellow students in class always came to the hospital to check on him because he was not attending school anymore. He started going to school when his wound had healed and he only went to school for three days after he had lost his leg and then his mother also died. It was the worst time of his life because his father had died some time ago, he had lost his left leg and his mother had also left him in this cruel world alone. He suspects that it might have been witchcraft that was done by one of his fellow students in class because they were always jealous since he was a brilliant student and he always had first place in class since he started school and no one had ever got better grades than him though they always tried to. He did not go to school anymore because he felt like life was meaningless and also stayed at home and waited for death to take him because he had lost all he loved. Later, he learned how to live with what had happened to him and he started looking for low-scale jobs in order to get food and according to him, that was the only goal he had. Augustine lived in this life for quite some time and later he got into a relationship with a girl who later became his wife and his life got love again 
and he at least had someone that made him feel special again. They had seven children together and they created one big happy family but they weren't happy for so long because Augustine's right leg also started paining him just like the left one did and since he knew the process he started getting more scared. One day his wife advised him to go to the hospital and get proper treatment for his remaining leg before he also lost it and he had to buy this idea because he did not want to lose them both. Upon getting to the hospital, the doctors again could not find what was wrong with his leg and all they said was that the infection kept growing and it would end his life soon, which means they also proposed that they should cut it off if he wanted to stay alive. This was not also easy for him, but this time, he was at least sure that his wife would help him with what he could no longer do due to his disability and take good care of their family. He accepted the offer that the doctors had given to him and his right leg was also cut off. He was still getting treatment at home and he had lost the other leg when his wife also died. This was something he could not manage to deal with because he had lost both his legs and his wife at the same time. And yet they had seven children that were all supposed to be taken care of. And since he had lost both his legs, it was clear that he had also lost working potential and he did not know how he was going to take care of his family. He then decided to come closer to God since he had a very heavy burden and he felt like he did not want to talk to people anymore because he was fed up of anything they told him and that's how he joined the church choir. He couldn't find any kind of job so he decided to go on the streets and start begging in order to get food for his seven children. Sometimes he urinates on himself because he cannot be fast enough to get to the toilets when he's begging on the streets and he ends up urinating on himself which is also embarrassing in front of his children. His life is getting more and more difficult day by day because his children need food, education and sometimes they also fall sick which means they have to go to the hospital and he cannot afford it in any way. They live in a very poor life and they hardly get what to eat. His children have very big dreams for the future and they always promise him to study hard and change his life. But he does not have hope that they will stay at school for a very long time. He says his biggest problem is crawling on the ground and he is requesting everyone that is watching this video to kindly help him get a wheelchair and school fees for his children since he cannot afford any of that. His happiness is to see his children study, grow and become successful people in their lives because that's the life that he never had. We have no control of what happens to us, but when the unexpected happens, no matter how hard it is, we must learn to move on and find a way forward. Thank you for watching Afrimax English. This is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.